All right, season one, episode seven, Justice. This episode is terrible. Um, it's the one where they land on this supposed paradise planet with a bunch of half-naked blonde white people running around. And there's a giant ship in orbit that is posing as their god. Which we'll see show up in other episodes. Because cost. And it's really uncomfortable. It's cringe. The crew introduces themselves. And the people apparently like to hug. And Worf hugs this woman. And it's super uncomfortable. It goes on a little too long. It's a bit of a Cuomo hug, if I'm being honest. It's awkward, but apparently all these people do is run around and make innuendos. Seems like they really like to fuck. And the crew is totally down. Which really makes me wonder why they brought Wesley along on this trip. Seems kind of irresponsible, to say the least. But whatever. And he ends up going off with some other kids from the planet. And they play catch like Tommy Wiseau from The Room. They stand like two feet apart. It's fucking weird. And this is where Wesley fucks everything up because he decides to go out for a deep pass and he acts like it's the fourth quarter of the goddamn Super Bowl and he has to catch this throw and he dives for it and he lands in some fucking little greenhouse in the middle of a field. I mean, I don't even know why this fucking thing is here, but whatever. He destroys their property and the half-naked cops show up with their nipples out and they inform Wesley that every single crime on this planet is punished by death. So Wesley has to die now. Now, my first reaction would be, okay, fine. But I guess they can't let that happen. And for the rest of the episode, they act as though they will violate the Prime Directive if they don't let Wesley die. But the Prime Directive doesn't really apply. Because there's a giant spooky spaceship in orbit that's been controlling these people and posing as their god. I mean, the Prime Directive is for alien races that are evolving naturally. So I don't know what the fuck the problem is. They've already been corrupted. And they do this back and forth over a moral conundrum that shouldn't exist for about 25 minutes. And then they just take Wesley and leave. Which is what they should have done from the start. The fact that they were even briefly considering letting him get executed is hilarious to me. I mean, he broke a potted plant, for Christ's sake. You know, it doesn't seem like something someone should have to die over, even when it's Wesley. I mean, just imagine if Picard just intended to hand over Wesley to these people for execution. And he calls Dr. Crusher into the ready room and tells her what happened. And he just says, Your son, fuckhead that he is. Broke some flowers on a planet full of blonde hippies. And now he's getting the electric chair. Sorry for your loss. Dismissed. And just one more thing. You know, the thing that really bothers me about this episode is that there's no resolution at all. You never find out what this stupid alien ship is or what it's doing there. Why it's posing as a god. You know, they're supposed to be seeking out new life and new civilizations, but they kind of just get the hell out of there at the end of the episode. You know, they have no further questions. And I just can't help but think about what these guys would do. You know, because every time Captain Kirk encounters an alien or a machine that's posing as a god, he fucking destroys it. <laughs> and I'm not saying that's what they should do here, but at least it's some kind of resolution, you know? He doesn't just run away. And, you know, he just kind of, the Picard and crew just kind of leave these people on their own with this fucking giant, ominous spaceship in the sky controlling them. And you could argue that it's also protecting them, but it's also making them kill each other over minor infractions. It's basically a fascist society. I just think further investigation is needed here. And they just kind of fuck off and don't ask any questions. You know, I mean, and Captain Kirk, you know, he's the guy who's 
asking what does God need with a starship? He's the guy who's always blowing up fake gods. He could be a member of SG-1 with the amount of false gods he kills. They would love to have him. I don't know. It just seems kind of fucked up. And I would say this episode is the worst episode of season one, but Code of Honor exists. And that episode is just a whole other story. And maybe another video. But I hope not, because I don't really want to watch it. But I guess we'll see.